story contains words that sound like they're a bit rude, but they're not rude words. They're right? not. They're not. I just need to tell you this. If you've got a sense of humour, you'll be fine. But lots of people don't have a sense of humour, as I discovered when I made fun of people who listen to country and western music. Ah, so I'm yes. telling you now so you have an opportunity to tune <laughs> out. All right. Melbourne Cup uh, ran today, and uh, Ellie and I had a little flutter. Yeah, uh, we did. Fun fact. Oh, yeah. About Jesse. Go on. Jesse has a TAB account. What the? And apparently he set it up years ago to bet on greyhounds. And this okay. one makes fun of me for about five minutes, then she comes over with 20 bucks cash and says, OK, can you put these ones on for me, please? A box canella. <laughs> anyway, uh, Heather, reporter Heather Duplessy Allen has a slightly different interest in horse racing. She wanted to know how they came up with the horse names and what exactly they can get away with. So she went along to a very special race to find out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Stand by. Gates crash open, they're up and racing to this great start. And Anita P was one of the first away. Drink a lot's going forward as well with Pistol Knight. Far Canal's going forward very, very quickly. And so is Hoof Hearted, who's charged around on the outside. Then came R. And Nads is back last of all. Thought you just heard something dodgy? Fair enough. We just called a race of some of the dodgiest horse names ever, and they're all real. 400 metres to go, and behind them now, Hoof Hearted is starting to really loom up large on the outside, and so is R, and Farcanel might get up and beat them all. Yep, Hoof Hearted, R, Farcanel, Pistol Knight, and Eater P, they're all real horses. George reckons it's deliberate. Horse owners are trying to trip up the commentators. The trickiest one, and we all got together and decided it was too tricky to allow to go through, and I have to be very careful how I think of it right now, was a horse called uh, Cunning Stunt. So to avoid George calling the sea bomb down the home straight, there are some rules. A horse's name must be 18 characters or less, not currently in use, not already super famous, and obviously appropriate. Recently, actually, we had someone try for the name Willie Naylor. Um, apparently, he um, knew someone called Willie Naylor, so that was actually someone's name, so. So he says. So he says, yeah. Natasha is one of the horse yeah. name police. Do you have to actually sit there and try to get your mind into the most dirty place possible? You do, actually. Like, you kind of have to look at the names spelt backwards um, and all other kind of scenarios as well. But I do find Google and Urban Dictionary really good. You'd actually be amazed. Some names are fine until you call them out in the stands. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! every time. <laughs> Some names have to be said out loud. For example, Norma Stitz. It's not a horse, it's a greyhound in Australia. I smelted. A horse in Ireland. Norfolk and Skills, Norfolk and Hope. Natasha stopped those ones. But someone let Magic Shaft and Perky Areola through. Natasha reckons it wasn't her. That was one that they probably should have used Urban Dictionary and Google for, but um, yeah, obviously innocent minds. For all you owners trying your little tricks, George has a message. Can I say it on air? Yes. Uh, something that rhymes with cunning stunt. <laughs> and here's the rest of that dodgy race. It's a grandstand finish as they go towards the post. Oh, I don't know. It could be a triple dead heat here. Anita P, Pistol Knight, R and Farkin. Now, what a great finish. What a great call to a great race. It's a of 12-year-old boys, haven't It's fun. Why yeah. not? Why not? Ellie was like this morning, she was like, oh, my son is going to love this story. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing harder than I anyone. I like that, doll. Yeah. Go back and watch it. It's on the yeah. Seven Sharp website. <laughs>